It was another Sunday with great church and the preacher got up today and preached on the return of Christ, the second coming, the rapture. And you can feel the awkwardness in the air. We don't like talking about the return of Christ because of the truth of the matter is we have all fallen in love with this life a little bit too much. I can admit it. I want to hear about the faith, the miracles, restoration, healing, victory, all of those topics in the Bible. But when the second coming comes up, it's not that I don't want to see Jesus, but sometimes it can feel so heavy, so doom and gloom. Scripture shows us the signs of the times, famines, rumors of war, people who are lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. And when I start to think of how terrible this world is, already and that it's going to get worse it can break your heart when you do love so many things about your life here and god convicted me today everything that we do if i want to be a better mother a better minister a better leader a better musician whatever in my life i'm trying to improve if it's not for his return it's for naught and the problem is is we have created this perfect little world that has become an idol to us and we have to remember, I do everything because he's coming. I do everything because I want to be with him. And if my heart posture is not in that position, seeking for that day, longing for that day, then what am I doing? We want to have these great services and great programs and great systems in our churches. We want to be these great leaders that are effective for the kingdom. But would we be distraught if he decided to come back? today, tomorrow. So let us, church, reawaken our desire for his return. Everything we are doing, everything we are living for is for when he comes back on that faithful day. And I want him coming back with me not saying, no, not yet. I, I, I have to finish this program or I have to finish that. I mean, it's natural. It's human to have things that we're working towards in the natural and, and have our questions. But he should be our greatest desire and I want my heart to yearn for him to return and not have anything hold me back so I just want to share that with you guys tonight he's coming soon the signs are there the world is evident the earth is showing his soon we're coming his soon return let us be ready let our hearts be ready let us get our families ready let us get everyone that we can ready his return.